um, on the sideline before going into bat, um, Branchy or Amy Sathaway came up to me and we talked about 240 sort of being the target. Uh, so that was something, obviously, that was in the back of my mind the whole way. Um, losing, well, having no sort of other, uh, well, having no top five batter there, um, even at the 40th over, made things a little bit more challenging. But um, I knew that with Erin booming in the, the way that she hit the ball, we're always in with the chance of getting there. Still came up, well, I guess, 20 runs short. But, yeah, we weren't looking for anything crazy up in, like, 270, 280, just because we knew the wicket wasn't playing like that. So um, I get, think gave us a fighting chance. But in the end of the day, probably that 20 runs short of what we thought would have been a par total. Oh, each girl will go back and have a look at how they got out like as a batter. No one ever purposely tries to get out and you're only just you're trying to do your job. Um, I think there are just a few maybe LBs and it's just maybe we're looking to play a little bit too square at times and just what, maybe we weren't watching the ball run to the bat. Little things, It's none of the girls have gone out there, I don't think, playing really silly shots that just didn't quite execute what they were trying to do at the time. Yeah, I, I haven't even seen it on video. Um, Haiti Tiffin said there wasn't really anything in it that um, Perry's just held her line, which she probably did. Just um, in, like, on reflection, she was bowling around the wicket, so probably I'm not used to having a bowler still on that side of the wicket. And, um, so when I've turned to come back, she was still there, and um, I, didn't, I didn't have time to move, and she obviously hadn't. So it was, yeah, frustrating, and in the moment I was pretty annoyed, but... That's cricket. <laughs> oh, she's a little star, so um, I think every time she gets the ball, um, a wicket's not too far away, and she's got that uh, confidence in her own uh, own game that, um, yeah, regardless of the situation, she's just like, oh, this is sweet. She'll she'll do her very best and, and pick us up a couple of wickets here and there. So we're always in the game when she's bowling. I definitely believe that. Yeah, I think from the very start, it was always going to be a very competitive tournament, um, dropping one game to Australia, that's not um, the be-all be all and end-all, and washouts are something inevitable when we're over in England, so, you know, it's only going to take other games around us to get washed out and things even up, and I think, like, destiny's still in our hands, we win all our games from here, there shouldn't be an issue of making that top four. Flip the West Indies, it's sometimes not sure what team's going to turn up on the day. So now that they've had these three losses in a row and today not going so well for them, potentially even more dangerous than ever because they'll come out with nothing to lose. So um, they've got absolute match winners in their side and we'd have to just go out and play our best cricket regardless of how they've been performing. If we play our best, um, hopefully the result will go our way.